Hey, this is just a quick update about uh, new 73A series, what um, recently were released by QNAP. And um, what is new, what I wanted to tell you is that um, it supports um, transcoding, hardware transcoding uh, via a PCIe graphics card. And um, if you want to know exactly which model is supported, you can go to uh, either news, slash and bear slash news, or uh, just go for this URL or something and you will uh, see that there are three graphics cards that are currently tested by QNAP probably they'll add more later but you can or you can presume which ones will work um, basically ASUS uh, um, PHGTX 1050 Ti uh, this is the graphics card which kind of support, support hardware transcoding as well as container station, uh, Linux station, HD station and virtualization station so so basically, if you've got virtual uh, machines, you can uh, link this graphics card to this virtual machine. So you can actually uh, connect uh, HDMI through HDMI if you want to. But most likely, you, you're going to have uh, this GPU unit inside your virtual machine. So if you do some sort of video editing or anything to do with graphics on your virtual machine, then you can use this um, graphics card with performance. What is it? Also, the HD station, this is something um, that you can actually connect um, to, to the QNAP. Uh, you can turn it into some sort of um, visual sort of uh, thing which you can control with a remote. So you can connect it to a TV, use a remote, install Plex, for example, or an audio station or something, you can control it by remote. Linux station, that means you can turn your NAS into a uh, Linux computer. You can connect USB. Uh, keyboard or um, and mouse obviously and monitor and you can use it as um, a Linux so in this case you would have a decent GPU uh, inside there so hardware transcoding that's going to mean that instead of going on a CPU internal GPU if you've got Intel based uh, uh, model like uh, Celeron or uh, Intel Core i3, i5, i7 then you'll usually have a graphics like 500 600, 600 series Intel graphics integrated but that wouldn't be enough to transcode something like 4K. 1080p would be all right, 720 okay, but 4K would uh, already require CPU power to actually do this transcoding using something called software transcoding instead of hardware. Hardware means that it's accessing GPU unit on the card or on the CPU, and that way, that way it's transcoding video, so uh, overall performance of the NAS is not going to be uh, affected so you can everyone connected can still smoothly transfer the, their files forwards and backwards and uh, container stations is something uh, similar to virtual machine you can um, uh, create some uh, little sort of uh, virtual things uh, like um, a media server or something there's hundreds of things you can create with uh, docker uh, and this is it. So there's also cards like MSI GeForce GT1030 and Gigabyte um, GVN1030. But these uh, two cards will not support um, hardware transcoding, which is going to be required for your 4K video, for example, transcoding in uh, Plex. Because this is the, the most often uh, scenario when people will be looking for PCIe graphics cards. This is uh, Plex. Uh, purpose usually because if you go for internal apps like um, video station which is QNAP or if we talk about technology it would be DS video uh, 4k normally will be supported even with weak CPUs like Celeron or something better like Intel Core i3 you normally wouldn't face any issues with 4k but Plex is really demanding app and it does requ require either really powerful CPU which uh, could transcode using software transcoding or you need a good graphics chip built in the CPU or dedicated PCIe card, which is going to take away all this um, this power power required for transcoding this video on the fly. You can always use offline transcoding to avoid uh, spending extras and getting better CPU and GPU card. Uh, but in that case, you will need more storage space because the system will need to generate some um, uh, smaller video files for this. Um, access uh, via 560p uh, or whatever uh, 720p whatever uh, resolution you choose uh, offline transcoding would uh, need to create all these files um, to live separately on, on this um, on this folder so this was the update so yeah seven, new 73a series do support um, tra hardware transcoding 
via PCIe card uh, and this is the card you need to get if you want to have this up and running. I hope this was helpful and um, if you got any questions you can always go to um, Nuts Compares, put a question on the right hand side. Um, if the question will be interesting we can shoot a video so we can help the world. Um, I hope this was helpful and uh, have a great day.